Let's yeah. see if we can. Yes, we can, sir. Now we can see what's in here. Oh, oh now that's yeah, that's a pretty f strong twelve pounders we've got there, seven pounder. Got grenadiers. Light infantry, light infantry, light infantry, lots of light infantry here. I think because we've got these strong forces here, I think we're going to start to increase our our forces in here in Torino. Battle here, sir. Here it comes, here it comes. There it is. We were expecting it, and there it is, my friends. Well, I'll be down. Look at that. We've got, we've got some militia here as well. We've got a lot of cannon. We don't have the grenadiers. Uh, greetings and welcome to episode 6 of my Napoleon Total War 3 France campaign and this my friends heard the last time Torino is under siege my friends from a very very powerful Austrian force indeed the, this is going to be an exceptionally difficult fight now we've had some wonderful advice from the council as always most uh, most of it as well is, is, is sort of the to do with the overall campaign but this means some wonderful advice here as well but it's a specific battle here now I did put up the question last time, do we use these militias? As you can see we've got <coughs> a number five regiments here of militia. Now as you can see they are not of the finest, their morale is low so the chances are they're going to buckle quite quickly under a sustained assault. The melee defence is, the melee attack is, but the, ra the accuracy also not very good at all. Their range, mediocre to say the b least, they, re they are as it says here local citizens so they're not going to stand to much however we I did put the question out, do we use them as a sort of, in inverted commas, a meat shield? So in, f in fact we send them forth in sort of in front of the main army, which is from here to here. It's going to be our main army here, so from Messina himself all the way down to the skirmishes here. And then we sort of use these sort of to absorb the initial assault, because you can see they outgun us here significantly. Their fire support is overwhelming here. Let's be absolutely honest here. Now they've got three pounders, not, but this seven pounder is going to do a lot of damage and a six pounder here as well. Now we do have our own six pounder here as well, eight pounder possibly, so a six pounder. Um, it's it's going to be very difficult for us, this battle, very, very difficult. They've got a very, very good general as well here as well, so he is going to be really spurring his army on quite aggressively. He's equal to Messina in terms of his rank and his sort of experience as well, so it's going to be, as I said, a very, very difficult fight indeed. They've got a number of grenadiers, as you can see, plenty of grenadiers here, but they do have a militia here, and also another militia here as well. So two militia, and also two skirmishers. Now we shouldn't really underestimate the skirmishers, but their attack, their accuracy is not the finest either. It looks like they are sort of skirmishers, but not of the elite type. They do have, of course, the Carassier Regiment, the Heavy Cavalry, and also the Chevaliers here as well. I think that's either heavy or light. They can do both. But we do outnumber them in ca in terms of the cavalry. Now we do have the Carassier. Look at that. That's an absolute joke. Look at the morale. 83. 
83 morale. That's one of the highest you will see anywhere. They really are the absolute creme de la creme of cavalry. We do have these two wonderful uh, light horse as well, so that's going to that's going to definitely be a boon of ours. <coughs> now, oh, but there was a bit two and four from the council saying that some council members saying we shouldn't use them as a meat shield. We should incorporate them within the army. Others. And I, I'm saying, m m sort of tipping on more of the side, more of the council saying we should actually use them as a meat shield, use them to absorb that initial assault, use them to get close, because if we get close into the sort of, and get into the mix here with the, these Austrian forces, these guns then become, not obsolete, but they become less effective. If we stand off and wait for the attack, we're going to be absolutely pounded to pieces. That's just the way it's going to be. And we've got our own guns here, which are going to supply provide a small amount. Now there was a, w a suggestion as well by the council, if we actually t dispatch one of these light horse to try and take on these cannon here, to try and deal with the cannon, or at least disrupt the cannon, so we sort of even the odds, keeping the other two as sort of a flank, as a sort of a shadow to the main army. We've got to close the gap with this Austrian army quickly here and get into the fight with them. It's the only chance we've got, it really is. We've also had a call to sort of move some of the armies around so we are going to probably pull Marat from Paris and replace him with another um, another officer maybe not one of the marshals maybe as one of the one of the generals we have here around Strasbourg that Napoleon didn't really need and the council did advise us to sort of move m more of our elite uh, marshals into the Austrian redoubt as it were because we need that sort of elite that that panache, that the land they bring to the armies. This Messina is going to be really pushed hard here, but we can't push this off any longer. They do, as you can see here, outgun us here by a considerable margin. They do have more grenadiers as well, which is a real... Mind you, we've got veterans here. These are nothing to be sniffed at either. They, they really can pack a punch. And we do, luckily, we've got many of these got good fair chevrons on them as well, so that's good. They are... Thankfully, the morale is a little bit higher than most of the Austrians here. If we can break this Austrian force, it really will put us on the front foot. They've also been a wonderful suggestion in terms of building up a second army here for of two extra armies with Napoleon to sort of in fact effectively leapfrog. So you keep reinforcing Napoleon all the time with additional forces. Keep that rolling ball, as it were, rolling on and on and on and on. So you effectively you're not stopping and starting to replenish and re recruit and get new armies and you're effectively keeping that march going on and on by feeding more reinforcements into the army every time. In fact, Napoleon, if he had enough resources, would steamroll the Austrians. It's just an absolute fact there, my friends. We've seen what he can do. Uh, he is an unstoppable force if he's using the right way. Not that I, by any means, are underestimating our enemies because we've got the Ottomans, the Russians and the Austrians now on this fr eastern front. It's going to be an absolute brute. But we have got Prussia and many of, them, many of the councils saying keep an eye on Prussia, Mala, keep an eye on Prussia because it will effect, eventually move against you. So that's why we're going to bring Marat down here. We're going to put Marat with a lot of cavalry. He is an exceptional cavalry commander. We're going to put a lot of cavalry into his force. We're going to sort of sprinkle it as well with some infantry. I don't think we'll put any artillery, but the council might say, no matter, put some artillery in there. But if, if Marat is our cavalry commander, we want to have that panache, that land that he sort of fights with, that freedom he's got with the cavalry here to absolutely destroy everything in its path. So we're going to bring Marat down from Paris and then replace him with another general. But it has to be done properly. We can't leave Paris open. Marat can only come from Paris once we've got a force in there to replace him. So that's what we've got a task here. But if we if we lose Torino, then we might send one of our old generals down from Stuttgart and retake it. Um, it'll be a long, but we we'll have to go through Switzerland and come through here. But it'll be a, a very dangerous trip indeed. But one we'll have to just have to take. We we'll just have to take that chance, and we'll have to use the army that Strasbourg here to reinforce Napoleon. But let's see what happens here, my friends. Let's see how this progresses. Let's take this. Let's take this fight here. Johann von Killer is the attacker with the defender here, Messina. So he should be attacking us. If he comes upon us, if he comes to us, then we will stand our ground here. But we're going to have to use the, the, the land to our advantage here. Now, I mean, that's a huge, huge deployment zone. But what do we have at our disposal here? Into, oh, we could hide in this. <coughs> is this undergrowth here? Can we hide in it? That's the absolute crucial if we can hide in this, we could absolutely blitz them here. We could catch them on hop because they've got to come to us. And look at this, the no man's land is incredibly small here. 
and so is their deployment zone. Their deployment zone is very, very narrow indeed. And they don't have the sort of the, the ability to hide their army in vast numbers that we do. We've, we've, got to, we've got to catch them on the hop here. We really, really do. Now, of course, we could... We don't have anything here. We're going to have to use our cavalry very wisely here. One cavalry unit is going to have to be sent on the flanks. It's going to have to be. But the rest will be sent. We left to guard our flank. Ooh, ooh. Now, is that a wall there? No, it's not. Unfortunately, it's just a fence. Like, we could have used that wall as a hindrance. No, dear, indeed, sir. That's a wall there, but it's too far out into no man's land. We can't do that. Topography here. There's the road to Torino, so we've got to defend it, sir. And there it is in the background. There's Torino there. In all its glory. Look at that. Now, can we're going to test this just a momentarily here. Can we hide some of our units in this undergrowth? No, we definitely need to catch them here. Will this undergrowth here hide them all? So look, let's just test this out. Indeed, sir. Indeed. Hidden. Oh, we could set a trap and a half here. We really could. We've got to draw them in here. We, what we might do is put is put the militia on the fr on the fringes here and draw them in on the militia, and then catch them in a trap here. I've got these gentlemen here now. Do we have anything? We could, uh, we could shield... We could use this forest here to shield our light cavalry moving down here. So what we might do is put these gentlemen right by here. Now this is the regiment that's going to be sent to try and hunt down Oh, they're hidden. We're going to try and hunt down <coughs> that oh look at that we'll hunt down that artillery this the ninth horse is going to be given that mission and they're going to come right around here they're going to oh, they can't they can't come through here what they can do though is you go through here hopefully you won't be caught on the hop there that's quite mind you that's quite close to the deployment zone here however this side here a little bit further away yeah it's much further back here, so I will sw we'll switch flanks. We'll actually put the cavalry in here, and they'll move this way directly across the road into this into the tree line here, and use the tree line as cover up to this point here, and then just wait, and then try and get in and around on that on that ar on that artillery. That if we take care of that artillery, we shall be in for a boon, sir. Now it's hidden. Remember, we've got to try and draw them in. We want to try and split our forces up here. We've got to draw them in here. <coughs> Using all this, because we, we can hide our forces along here. Will they actually hide along here? Oh, and they're in there as well. Oh, if we could, if we could cut, if we can catch them here on the hop. What a wonder that would be. Now, here's the militia. It's a brutal thing we're going to do, but we've got to do it. That's the militia. We'll just put them there for the moment. That's effectively the meat shield. Now, I know the local citizens that have bravely volunteered. They're looking actually not too bad at all. Looking very smart there, but I don't think they'll be smart for much longer. But we've got to keep this elite army here, the elite part of our army intact. Now, oh, look at that. The Carassiers, my friends, look at this. Witness wonderment. Oh my good, look at that. Look at that. Now this really is the absolute apogee here, the pinnacle here of cavalry. Oh, what a joy. Got to keep them safe because they're going to definitely be flanking. And hitting the flanks. We've got to protect our flanks with them. Can we hide them in here? I doubt we can. We can. I beg your pardon, sir. Mind you, they're all hidden here. Of course, we've got the hill here as well. The, 
where they can't see over the hill. I've got to pick this ferry, this grenadiers here. There's the grenadiers. This may take us a while to get this deployment right because we've got to absolutely maximise. Look at the, look at that for the grenadiers. Uh, oh, that's a joy. And we've got 24th Red, 26th Regiment. Where's our veterans? Eh? Oh, the Voltec here. Compagnie. That should be light infantry. It is indeed. So they will be. What if we can? What if we can set ambush with these? With these light infantry here, start to whittle them down on the edges, and then move them. They can go on skirmish mode, so and effectively they'd be fighting on the move. Mind you, if the cavalry catch them, they're going to be absolutely butchered. There's the eight light horse. Put these gentlemen here just for the moment. Nothing too fancy. Now, can we draw them on to this militia? But I said the grenadiers here. I know we don't want we don't, this cannonball bouncing through the forest. them but we'll take them off we'll take them off fire at will we've got to hold our nerve here we're just gonna hold our nerve here fire at will is off but I wonder if we no, wait a minute if I could put them if we could put them in the line here the canister shot would be brutal sir I know that some of the council have been calling for us to use the canister shot the shot a lot more I if we might just do here now we've got this They're taking off fire at will. We've got to be careful here. Because <coughs> if we put them in the sandbags here, that's going to be a disaster. Two strong regiments on the side. 26th regiment here. Let's, set, let's really set ourselves fair here. Because we are hidden at the moment, gentlemen. Let's get down and dirty here. these gentlemen here as well we will be using everything at our disposal here we've got to be very very careful we don't now, will these gentlemen be hidden that's what the question is they are hidden the grass is must be long enough to hide them all the way along here I've got Andre Massena here on Messina we definitely need his influence here. We've got to be careful we don't have the cannonball bouncing through here. So we have to set we have to set them fair here. This is gonna require nerves of steel. Years. Gotta watch and just flank them. 
got a light horse here. If we can, if we can get into that, if we can get into that artillery, that would be an absolute boon. Set these gentlemen here. Twenty-fifth on the right. If we need to move up, we will move up. We shall move up. going to do is we're going to set them here. We're going to set them on skirmish mode. They're going to be skirmishing in and out. I would also do the same here for the Baltic gear. Here. We we'll have to have a gap here for our artillery to fire into. So we're going to set these gentlemen here. Light infantry. Oh, good grief. Look at that. Let's just put them in this end a little bit here. Okay, they're going to overlap quite aggressively here. That's absolutely fine. Skirmish mode as well. We'll have them on guard mode. Now, hopefully, we can draw them. Can we draw them out here with just some of these? What if we can catch them on with some militia here, just to sort of use these militia to draw them out. What we're going to do, we're going to try and catch them on the hop here, see if we can, we can do some damage to them. They're all hidden, that's hidden here as well. We've got to be very, very careful what we're doing here. This is the this is the regiment that's going to go for it, <clears throat> right? There, my friends, they're going to attack us. Let's see what happens in this particular fight now. Let's end or start the battle, shall I say? Let's go for it. Oh my goodness me, that's it. Try and force them away from the defensive positions here. them out, we brought them out. Can we catch them on the hop here? If they run, it doesn't matter. They've held them up here, that's the main thing. I mean, 
this is what we need to do here. It's just we've just See, they've held up this Austrian. I mean, they're going to Our men are yes. running, sir! They've got them butchered, but that's not the point. The point is they've been used to hold up this here. Look at this, look at this, this organised, this whole Austrian front is. And look what they've done, they've done damage. They've done damage. their damage though, they've done their work. Look at the disruption already that's done. Is what we're talking about. Got to be so careful here. We've come back. This is what I'm talking. This is this. Don't even know that they're there to chase them. That's what we want, sir. Our men are running, sir.
Our men are running, sir! That's okay, though. That's what we want. Look at this. They've done a wonderful job here. We've picked apart their, their cavalry. Our general is under attack! Don't you die, don't you die, sir. This militia has actually worked proven fantastic for us. Look at this array here. We've just got to wait for that time to pick these apart here. <laughs> just set them onto the flanks here, I think. Grenadiers have been worn down by the militia. Yes, the grenadiers are taking a real pound in this. Discipline is going to be absolutely key here. They're winded, so they're resting quite nicely here. The grenadiers are worn down. The men are fatigued, yeah, sir, you know. and must rest a while. Yes, that's okay, let them rest in. The militia have actually done a much, much better job than I even thought possible, to be honest with you. They've held up, look at this, the disruption of this line here is a wonder.
brought this flank up here, sir. Charge into the flanks here, sir. Oh, look at that. and must rest a while. Here. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Council has once again come up with a wonderful, wonderful plan. Oh, I don't think so, sir. I don't think so. Got to rest this cavalry up, otherwise they're going to be absolutely butchered here. Keep firing on them. They've got to go from exhausted to...
can he have done that? I just wonder. Sir, I've had enough. My goodness me, this is such a tense fight. Gotta roll this flank up here. Close to the fighting. Come on. Must be having you, lads. Fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Come on, hey, you've had enough. This gun here, this this artery piece here has been invaluable. I 
cavalry here has been exceptional. Oh, oh, this has been what a fight. Oh, so what a mess this is, genuine. What a mess this is here. Unacceptable. Oh my goodness, look at the battlefield. Look at it littered. My goodness, what a fight that was. What a fight this is still is, should I say. Have we got them now? Have we got them now? It's a high note. from existence. Oh my goodness, dude, what a fight this has been. This has been an absolute joy. How many kills have been here? Look at this army, it's been absolutely fleeced, sir. Now they got, they've had enough, they've had enough. We, oh my god, what a fight that was. That was a joy. I'm so they want to come back for some more. Then we should have obliged. So we found some courage. Equal that courage, sir, and then some. Yeah, that's it. Mercy, they saw the cavalry. There we go. Oh, good enough for that. Thanks very much. Let's see the remnants of that army coming through. Most of our army has survived. The vast majority of our army has survived. We've had one regiment break here, 25th, and that was it. And now we shall meander and just deal with this. Oh, my God, we've killed 
giving them a sound, sound fashion here. Back into line, gentlemen. Back into line, look sharp. Ready for inspection. Be ready for inspection. Ready for another fight. Our men are running, sir! These Karassiers have... Oh, that is Karassiers, they've buckled. This is surprising. They've been fired at full blank. Full pace, we should have charged them, perhaps. Hopefully the Karassiers will come back. We can't afford to lose them. What a fight that was. <sighs> Look at this line, still absolutely rock solid, sir. It is littered, sir. Crassier is a good wonder. We've got to get them back. Distinction. Oh, yes, cut them down. We did it, my friends. We've done it. We have done it. Oh, yes. Oh, what a fight that was. What a fight. Victoire! They lost 2,000. We lost 1,100. 1,100. Look at that, 495 remaining. We absolutely butchered them. Oh, look at that. Look at the Crassiers. 425 kills. 425 kills from the Crassiers. Oh, look at the artillery. 176 kills. They lost nothing. Oh, look at that. De La Garde. 336 kills. And this, what a wonder it was for the council when they said, put your artillery in your line, Mala. And look at that, that canister shot absolutely brutalized them. It really, look a wonder. Oh, that's it.
That's it. Get going, sir. Now that was a wonder. That was a heck of a hit. Oh, they. Well, okay, Sweden, no, that's not. No. I wonder if they join the war against against Austria. Ah, no, they wouldn't. Ah, that's a. Mind you, look at the size of Prussia. It is ginormous. But they would go against Sweden for us. Hang on, hang on. We don't want. We don't want to rank and rile up anybody else. Batavian Republic. Now, what the Ottoman Empire going to do? Nothing at all. Hoping now Spain is building towards something, but we don't know what, sir. What a fight that was, my goodness me, what a fight. Oh, come on now, Spain, you've got to do something down here, sir. Oh, what a fight, look at that. We sent them packing, sir. They've, got, they've been absolutely decimated. Totally decimated. We could even move out and probably destroy that army. If truth be told, we could probably move out and destroy that army. And that means Milan would be open for the taking. There must be... There's a rebellion. It's, oh, not quite, but there will be a rebellion here in Milan. If there's a rebellion, that'll prove invaluable to us. Oui, monsieur. But my friends, I'm going to end this episode right here. We don't want anything, any technical glitches, anything wrong to go wrong, because that was a wonderful fight. It really, really was. But we're going to end this episode here, my friends. I hope you've enjoyed that fight. I will definitely be implementing the council's advice in terms of the campaign and what we're doing here. We are going to bring more, another army down here. We're probably going to send this general here, Bernardo, back to Paris. And we're going to then bring Murat from Paris um, to the eastern front here, the Stuttgart front, and we'll have three very powerful generals and hopefully three full armies, if not if not three full armies, close to it. But my friends, hope you've enjoyed this episode. As always, please keep your comments coming down below. That was one heck of a fight, but my goodness me, we showed those Austrians what, we're wor what we are worth, but Prussia is just an absolute magnificent force. I mean, that's going to take some doing to really to propel them. They want us to join the fight here against Hessen Castle as well, and also they want us to join ah, against Sachsen down here as well. But we we we've got too many fights on the go at the moment. We can't really risk it. Well, we do have the Batavians moving here, which is perhaps they're moving to the border just in case the Prussians move against them. But if we had to sort of divert these forces away, if we can get Marat down here, another army here, we might be able to hold the Prussians up for some time at least. But Anyway, my friends, I hope you've enjoyed it. As always, please keep your comments coming down below. Thank you for your wonderful support. But until next time, my friends, bye for now.